Oil bulls continue to push prices aggressively to the upside with a key barrier just ahead, guys. A game-changing one for sure. Now, we finished Q2 with a really strong recovery, okay? A performance there, which was good. And that comes after, you know, prices uh, plunged into negative territory. Remember that in April. But a nicely bouncing towards the back end of April. And, you know, if you look, particularly at WTI crude, similar to Brent crude as well, 10 weeks more or less, we have been extending to the upside, okay? Pushing, pushing, pushing. We've large thanks actually <clears throat> to OPEC. OPEC and its allies, OPEC Plus, uh, scaling back production because there's way too much supply, pumping, pumping, pumping all this oil, not enough demand, particularly with obviously coronavirus and economies locking down. <clears throat> so there's a lack of transportation, a lack of requirement for fuel. But that's actually picking up, okay? That's picking up again as major economies reopen again, and there's a need for fuel i.e. oil. So let's just take a look at the chart here. Obviously, as you can see, this is on a weekly chart. These are the 10 weeks, I mean, where we've been extending nicely to the upside. Really over the last one, two, three, four, five, we've been somewhat consolidating. You could just say we've been consolidating here. Um, and if anything, for me, call that as a, a bullish pennant structure, okay? Um, we've had a variety of various uh, pennant structures which we've broken out of here, here, and here, this latest one, bit of a fake out here where we suck back within, but then extending to the upside after finding support of the lower tracking trend line of that. Um, there is a little bit of risk of this being a potential, I mean, bear flag, possibly. It's an ascending channel either way, but that ascending ch channel could take us right into this zone. As a quick refresher, so this zone from around sort of $42.50 up towards 45 is massive. <clears throat> okay, it's a massive zone. Just look left, I could drag this all the way here. You can see the significance of that, how it's served as firm area of demand to find buyers, um, and it will not be an easy area to break down. But if we do, we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly up towards, um, you know, pre-bear market levels in January, okay? In January, we broke this supporting trend line here, and the sell it after a retest there, selling came into play. So this is our next major area to break down, at, um, just to, show, uh, to sort of to demonstrate <clears throat> on the daily. Yeah, as I say, You'd want to see the price settling within this zone, okay? Perhaps a little bit consolidation again once we achieve this. Prove that it's not just going to get a big rejection. And then you'd be looking for, uh, you know, potential breakout patterns uh, or sort of signals for that to, to trigger to, to some buying momentum. And what I would say is just if we are going to see a rejection, just look out for that bearish uh, candlestick there if that does come into play, okay? So definitely a big area to watch. Other than that, guys. Do not hesitate, check out freaknetwork.io. We do regular fundamental and technical analysis, trade ideas, uh, providing value throughout the day to our members, European, US rundowns, pre-Asia, a lot of value. Stay lit, let's get it. Skrr.